Hey guys, welcome to Mike's World. Today we're going to be doing a follow-up to a video I've already done with the Sony CX405 camera. So uh, if you haven't already seen it, go check out the video. It's probably one of the most successful videos I've done so far with this channel. I go through everything about this camera, everything you need to know. It's a great camera, um, but there's a few things that I found out, one in particular that I want to show you today. I think you're really going to like it. But hey, before that, if you like the channel, if you find the video useful, please go subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know anytime we put out a new video. Always like the video and always leave a comment and I'll try to answer any questions you have. So today, looking at the CX405, this is a follow-up. So like I said, go check out the other video. But what we're going to look at today essentially is if you look at the bottom of this camera and we're going to move over to the table in a minute and I'll show you uh, the slot for the battery. There's actually a hidden battery slot to carry a second battery in this camera. It's pretty amazing and I want to show you that right now. So here we have the CX405 laid out, the box, <clears throat> camera, these are all the cords it comes with and this is a small screwdriver set that come in handy here in a second. And you'll notice that I have two of these, uh, these batteries because I actually ordered a second one. So this is, if you can see it there, the Sony, there it is, NPBX1 battery. Uh, one of these comes with the camera and we ordered a second one. So what's interesting about this camera is, um, you know, I've already went through it, but one of the things I noticed was with the camera is when you open the battery slot, you're gonna notice where the battery goes in, right? And so if I take a battery and I line up the, you'll see the arrow and you'll see an arrow right there. So you just push it down in there and it clicks. And that's how you load the battery. But what I noticed was, was this little area here and I thought, well, that seems kind of weird because it's got around the edges, it's kind of hard to see, but it looks like, it kind of looks like that opens up. And I thought, well, what is this? Is this, I mean, because this looks like another spot where a battery would go in. Uh, surprisingly, um, this is another battery compartment. Um, but you have to take this back piece out or apart from the camera uh, to get to it to, to pop this out. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to show you how this works. You take one screw out. Before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and pop this battery back out the one I just put in there. So let's get that out of there. And so what we're doing is we're going to remove this little piece right here. Okay. Kind of hard to see. I'm making sure it stays in focus. Um, but we're going to remove that piece to do that. All this does is snaps on, except you're going to notice right here. There's one small screw, small Phillips screw right here. We have to remove that. So I'm going to take, get my uh, screwdriver set out here and I'm going to find my Phillips screwdriver. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this single screw. I'll remove that single screw right now. So there it is. It's right there. And this is a black table. I put this white cloth so that we could see everything because black on black just doesn't, doesn't show up well on camera. So that's what this cloth is about. So we've removed the single screw. And now if we open this up, what you'll notice is the side opposite the screw right here. This just clicks in. So you just pop this out. It pops apart. You'll see where I'm popping it apart right there and this back piece comes off. Just be very careful, just move it easily. It's got some little tabs there. You don't wanna break those. And I actually found this by mistake. Um, another uh, person who I managed who had one of these as a dash cam, uh, very difficult with his gear, actually um, ruined his HDMI port. Um, it came loose. He left it connected as a dash cam um, and that and so I took one of these completely apart, trying to fix that myself, and I couldn't fix it. So um, we ended up having to get another camera. Um, but when taking this apart, this is what I noticed. See this opening? There's two push tabs here. And if you push those in and push up, 
this little piece. Yeah. Once I get a hold of it, pops right out like that. See that? Now, if I put the cover back on, gently, line it up there, click it here, it's clicked back in place. I put the one screw back in, so I can get a hold of it. Very small. You do not want to lose your, this little screw. So I've got it on there real quick. I'm going to slide it right back in there, tighten that down. Now, check that out. There's an, a spot to hold your extra battery. So I'm going to close this door because otherwise the camera will automatically turn on. Now remember, you don't have the guide telling you which way the, the arrow goes now, but the arrow, if you're holding the camera like this, the arrow goes to the right. So we're going to pop that battery in, click it in place. And we're going to take our second battery right here. We're going to put it in there in this empty slot. Look at that. So now you're only using one battery. It's not like you're using both batteries, but you can carry a spare battery in your camera. This is unbelievable. I mean, because most other cameras, you of course you can buy extra batteries, but you got to carry it around in a separate bag in your pocket. I mean, this is amazing. You're carrying an extra battery in your camera. And that one battery, if it goes dead and you can't charge it, then you just pop this out, swap batteries, put the dead one over here, and you're still good to go. You know, this thing will run about an hour and a half, maybe two hours on a full battery. I'd say an hour and a half is more likely. Um, but now you got two batteries. And, of course, you know, this is how the camera charges. It has a little USB that sticks out. And you plug this into uh, a computer, into your wall outlet it comes with a usb extension cable so this end goes here the other end plugs in but this is how you charge it um, so if you have also if you have a portable power bank um, you can plug this into a power bank and power the camera so that's even another battery but i just wanted when i took one of these apart and i found the extra battery compartment um, i was just kind of floored by it i was like this is amazing and i immediately ordered another battery just for that very reason so uh, again go check out the other video i've done the full review and unboxing of this camera i think you're really 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 going to love it um, it's a great great camera it's a very cheap camera very affordable uh, the perfect kind of camera if you like to do youtube videos blogs things like that the it's got a pretty wide angle lens and the internal microphone when you shoot it like this like selfie mode or something it's pretty good i mean so go check out that review uh, there will be a link in the description if you want to buy one of these. Um, if you do buy one and want to pick one up, I'd really appreciate it if you buy it from the link in the description. Um, uh, it is affiliate marketing. I do get a, a small little percentage or commission if you pot, buy through the link. So uh, I would appreciate it. That's one way you can support the channel. Um, but that's it. That's the extra battery compartment in the Sony CX405. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please again, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when we put out a new video. Um, always like the video and leave a comment. Try to answer those questions whenever I can. And please feel free to uh, peruse the rest of the channel. Check out some other videos I have available to you. I think you'll find them interesting. Until then, take care.